Hello, my name is Adad Jasitan, and we're going to be talking about WED. Also known as weathering, erosion, and deposition. Okay, so in weathering, I'll be explaining. Weathering is breaking big of a trunks into small trunks, and and that and how it does it is by rain, uh, wind, um, water, snow, and ice. Weathering can happen in three different ways. One is chemi chemical weathering, the other one is biological weathering, and the last one is mechanical weathering. Aaron, can you explain these three different types of weathering? Well, the first weathering, as I mentioned, was chemical weathering. Chemical weathering is when um, water and air go and smoothen these rocks, which then breaks them into more tiny pieces. All right? The next one is biological weathering. Biological weathering is when you like organisms go and break the rocks. And the last one, which is mechanical weathering, is when um, ice, water, and wind break the rocks. The next thing we're going to be talking about is erosion. Erosion is when wind, water, ice, and gravity move all the small particles away. So, for example, you could take glacier movement as ice. It moves all the small particles from rocks and pushes it away because it keeps on moving forever. And next is water. In river, small particles from rocks can fall into a river and it takes it away. Right? Um, wind can push the small particles away to different areas of land. And last is gravity, top of the hill to bottom, and that's for gravity. So, yeah, that's erosion. Now I'm going to talk about deposition. Deposition is taking those particles and creating islands and, and um, bay areas. Bay areas. Now we are going to start on our new experiment. We are going to be using ice for glacier movement, water for the rain. We're going to be for rain, and we're going to be using the wind as, it's as a straw. As, we also have this other cup. If it has know, holes in it. Yeah, and since it has holes, it may, it's kind of like rain because rain stuff doesn't just drop like that. And it just it has like small like it just comes like yeah. And like, also we have a stream so we can put it. So we have to see. pour it to the stream right, right there. Yeah. The stream. See there. It takes. See, so weathering happened here is when the water hit the ground and um small particles broke and erosion is when all these particles were moving this way and deposition is where it stopped over here at the end all right next we will be going into ice which is also known as glacier movement and we'll be putting all of these um ice everywhere so give us a minute look like take this as if it's like a glacier so um, so for weathering, it, um, stomps, like it, it moves, which then tumbles rocks apart whenever it moves, therefore breaking it into small and small pieces. Next is, um, what the erosion, it is pushing the rocks away. That's a, that's where erosion comes in. And deposition is wherever, um, where, whenever it hits like, um, land or anything where the stopping point for it. See how the ice is moving? It's called um, erosion, and how like the water comes is called. This is called deposition. The last one we're gonna use is wind. So Iran's now going to be blowing a straw into. Let's see it. Wait, how do we? So yeah. So if you have seen, um, the dirt particles broke, which is called weathering. They went high up into the air, which is called erosion because it's moving somewhere else. And the position is where it landed. There is weathering important. This is important for Earth because the small materials can help the formation of soil. Therefore, giving more opportunities to farmers to uh, farm their crops and more opportunities for life to grow, such as trees. You can grow trees on the, on the new soil and um, animals could thrive. And also, that could help a good food supply. So, yeah, that's the reason why, 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 that's the reason why weathering is very important.
Thanks for watching. I hope we had a fun adventure together in this um, video. And hit the like button. Subscribe. And don't forget to hit, go to the notification bell. And also, you can follow our steps. In, follow our steps of this experiment. And if you're going too fast, make sure to pause the video. Bye. Bye.